Communication between two or more devices on a computer network is defined by various network models, with the TCP IP model as the most widely adopted for internet communications. Models are made up of multiple layers, and these layers are made up of protocols or standards which are added in those layers based on the similar levels of functions they perform. Today, we'll focus on the data link layer of the peer TCP IP model, and in this layer, we will define the Ethernet technology and describe how it is used in creating a link to allow for communication between two or more devices on a computer network. Hello guys, welcome to my presentation on the data link layer and we'll talk about the Ethernet technology. Ethernet in simple terms mean a link layer technology used for interconnecting devices on a wired local area network. Who defined the Ethernet technology? Being a technology that is not owned by any specific device manufacturer, Ethernet is defined by a standards organization known as the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers and it was defined under the 802.3 specifications for local area networks. In brief, Ethernet was defined in the IEEE 802.3 specifications. When we talked about the OSI model, we explained that any physical wire is a dead wire until it has a link layer protocol running over it. In order to establish an Ethernet link over thin wire coaxial cable, we need to run the 10 base 2 Ethernet standard, which in fact allows the cable to transmit up to 10 megabits of data every second for up to a distance approaching 200 meters. The actual distance in practice is 185 meters. Ethernet link over thick coaxial cable can be created by running the 10 base 5 Ethernet standard over the wire. For twisted pair cables such as the category 3, 4, and 5, we need to run the 10 base T Ethernet standard. Category 5 also supports the running of 100 base TX Ethernet standard, and the list goes on. Ethernet also includes standards to support optical fiber transmissions as well. Now, how does Ethernet work? Devices supporting Ethernet should have an Ethernet card present on their circuit board. The Ethernet card is a piece of hardware on a device which is responsible for providing Ethernet-related functionalities and data processing. Without it, a computer may not be able to connect to any network. In practice, Ethernet operates at two layers of the OSI reference model. Layer 1. In this layer, it does the encoding of signals transmitted through the physical wiring and also creates the bit streams that represent the transmitted data. At layer 2, it is responsible for granting the data access to the transmission media through the media access control sublayer. In simple terms, the media access control sublayer is responsible for placing the data on a link that has been established. How does Ethernet encapsulate data for transmission? In encapsulation, we explained that during processing, a layer may add a header or a trailer to the existing data. The headers or trailers contain information that either define where the data is sent to or how to remove this header and further process the data when it finally reaches the destination device. Every packet entering the data link layer from the upper layers are of different types and hence assigned a type value. These type values are defined by Ethernet and are unique for every packet. Ethernet uses the type value for two things. One, to identify the packet it is encapsulating, and two, to determine which of its headers will be used for encapsulating the data. If the type value is 1500 or less, Ethernet will use the IEEE 802.3 header to encapsulate the packet but if the type value is 1536 or more, Ethernet will encapsulate this packet using an Ethernet 2 frame header. 
Type values are mostly expressed in hexadecimal form, which can be easily obtained by using a hexadecimal calculator. A hexadecimal number begins with an OX and then followed by the hexadecimal value. Therefore, frames using the IEEE 802.3 header have a type value equal to OX 05DC or less, and frames using the Ethernet 2 header have a type value equal to OX 0600 or more if these values are converted to hexadecimal. Let's take a simple link layer communication between two end stations. PC A attempts to send a file to PC B using IP at the network layer. First of all, Ethernet assigns IP packets a type value of OX0800 in hexadecimal form. While the receiver decapsulates this frame, it recognizes the data as an IP packet. Since Ethernet is a technology that allows for multiple devices to share a single link, devices identify each other on the link by using MAC addresses. PCA then adds its MAC address in the source MAC address field. Next, it adds the MAC address of PCB in the destination MAC address field. All of this information forms the Ethernet 2 frame header. Finally, we'll talk about the Ethernet trailer. It contains error checking code called CRC, Cyclic Redundancy Checksum, to determine if this frame has been tampered with during transmission. The field that holds the CRC is a frame check sequence field. It is a value calculated based on the structure of the entire frame, which could be done using a number of methods. The frame is then transmitted using a preamble, which is meant to notify the receiver of an incoming frame. Once the frame is received, the destination MAC address is verified to ensure that the data is meant for this particular computer. Then, PCB calculates another CRC based on the received frame. If this new CRC is the same as the CRC received from PCA, then it means the frame is intact and not modified. The header and trailer are discarded and the IP packet is sent to the network layer for further processing. However, in the event that both CRC values are different, the entire frame is discarded and not processed further. Check out the questions on the next slide, watch out for MAC addressing, same time next week, to understand how MAC addresses can affect data forwarding on a computer network. If you learned something from this video, please leave a comment subscribe to this channel and share so others can benefit too. Thank you for watching.